The Village Voice asks us to prove their position as the real, uncensored voice of New York. And at the same time, reestablish the brand as a go-to source of arts and culture. Our solution was to capture the most raw, uncensored, and entertaining voices that exist in New York. The voices of New Yorkers. I'm walking here! I remember when this was all hookers. Ninth Avenue, watch your step. If not, don't send me the bill. And create a channel to turn these great moments people experience on the street into a new source of content curated by the Village Voice. Well, there's an amazing new project that's hitting the internet, giving New Yorkers a chance to share their amazing stories. It's called New York Writes Itself. Introducing New York Writes Itself, a simple online destination for New Yorkers to write down the funny, weird, romantic, or just plain crazy things they experience every day on the streets as a citywide collection of real stories that the Village Voice can share with New Yorkers and the world. There's always someone saying something funny or entertaining in New York. And people soon embrace the platform as a way to capture and share the moments that stand out to them with thousands of written quotes submitted in the first month. This created a constantly growing online script, capturing the real voice of New Yorkers in submissions like these. Then this guy yells out, I love the Mets, but they fucking suck. Prostitutes in short rabbit jackets. My name is the Bone Crusher. Our next step was to recreate the writing in a way that would strike a chord in the arts community. To do this, we collaborated with New York's best letterpress artists, who brought the writing to life, letter by letter. It's gonna sound like New York. There's something about the verbal play of like these little vignettes that people are submitting. It's like, oh yeah, that totally sounds like somebody walking down whatever avenue or street in New York. You know, it's not pretty and polished and perfect. It's New York. The artist chose written submissions from NewYorkWritesItself.com, which were recreated as 500 limited edition prints, each capturing the real voice of a New Yorker as a piece of art. A thick Brooklyn accent just goes, your whole family's garbage. Then she says, first the earthquake and then the hurricane, and now they're out of arugula. Kids today should have a class where they get punched in the face. You're the first person I'm gonna eat. I live in New York. That's literally what people say on the street. Held at the Art Directors Club in New York, the show attracted a record attendance. New York Writes itself has tapped into a real cultural vein in New York and an entirely new space for an editorial brand with 24 million media impressions, 52 articles from editorial channels outside the Village Voice, including New York Times and CBS, and over 2 million unique visits to NewYorkWritesItself.com and nine minutes average time spent online. The idea has had such a strong cultural impact that Village Voice has made it a permanent piece of their arts and culture content, with the most popular submissions featured every month, an off-Broadway play in production, and a comedy series launching later this year, all fueled by the crowdsourced content at New York Writes Itself, proving that Village Voice truly captures the real, uncensored voice of New York. New York Writes Itself. You can't make this shit up.